I can't remember literally the accident. I remember a few, about five or 10 minutes before and basically waking up in hospital then a few months later. And I both broke ch both cheekbones, top jaw, my nose and fractured my skull. As people say, it is totally life changing. I'm unable to do certain things which I was able to do, which is frustrating. Just hoping that obviously that I won't have to hide my face away and my confidence within myself will be back and I'll be able to do just day-to-day -day things, go and see people, walk in the streets, even just go to any public areas really. We're producing guides, metal guides, at each stage of the surgical process uh, that we're using, not only to cut the bone using a, a guide, but also to reposition the bones using a guide. And then, without removing those guides, we've also got custom-made fixation plates uh, that will be put into gaps in the guide um, and fi to fix the bones back together to reconstruct his eye socket and then we take the guides away. Sean Peel, uh, Design and Research Engineer at uh, the Surgical and Prosthetic Design Group. We've gone from doing just medical models, just replicas of anatomy, through to reconstructing anatomy to match uh, healthy other parts of the body, uh, onto planning surgeries in the virtual environment, uh, producing surgical guides that will allow the repositioning of bones and the, the exact placement of drills, uh, and through to custom implants that are tailored to each individual patient. I see the difference straight away as soon as the day I woke up from the surgery. I can see straight away what well, sort of change they've done to me. I'm just glad in a way that they have developed that sort of technology which they are able to basically put me back together in such a way which it is my own perfect.